Not of this here at five. The White Sox pitch for a new stadium is not hitting a home run with Illinois' governor. WDN's Jenna Barnes reports on his reaction to what team owners would like to do. This is the 78 in the South Loop. The White Sox want to make it their next home, but Governor J.B. Pritzker saying today public funding for that potential stadium is far from a sure thing. I start out really reluctant, um, and unless a case is made that the long term, in, that the investment yields a long term return for the taxpayers that we can justify in some way, I haven't seen that yet. Governor J.B. Pritzker responding to the White Sox pitch for a new stadium in the South Loop that includes a billion dollars in public money. The governor's remarks came at an unrelated event, the announcement of maternal health initiatives and a new birthing center on Chicago's South Side. The taxpayers' dollars are uh, precious and the idea of taking taxpayer dollars and subsidizing the building of a stadium uh, as opposed to, for example, subsidizing the building of a birthing center, just to give the example, um, does not seem like the, you know, uh, the stadium ought to have higher priority. Sox chairman Jerry Reinsdorf meeting with legislators in Springfield last week. The White Sox and developer related Midwest are reportedly eyeing a tax increment financing district and an extension of the 2% hotel occupancy tax that's currently used to pay the Illinois Sports Facilities Authority's debt. They say a subsidized stadium will attract private investment, bars and restaurants, part of the renderings in their pitch. The governor is complimentary of those, but and that's not enough uh, to make it uh, a priority in my view for, for Springfield. Pritzker says the information his office has received so far is limited. He says while his staff has seen a presentation on this pitch, so far he has not. In the South Loop, Jenna Barnes, WGN News.